How to Solve a Word Problem, right? Part one. All right, so what we got? It, um, first thing about doing a word problem is we want to make sure, which one do you use, this one or this one? That one. Okay. First thing we want to do in a word problem is you want to make sure you read all the way through the problem. So it says, Adrian wants to create an outdoor rectangle count. The length will be three feet more than twice the width. Write and use an equation to find the length and the width of the kennel if Adrian has 54 feet of fencing. So if you remember my questions, um, or the questions I asked like right over there, they say, first thing you do is we need to determine what is the question, what are we trying to find? And it says, right, use quick, to find the length and the width. So we need to find the length and the width. It's pretty easy, right? So no matter what our word problem is, we can rewrite to find the length and the width, or rewrite what the question is asking, right? Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the next thing is we need to see what is our variable, or what is the variable we're going to want to use. And let's just use x for our example. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to determine, well, what is our variable going to represent? So and usually our variable, we want it to represent our unknown. What is it we don't know? And we have a problem here because we don't know what the length is or what the width is. We can't say x equals both of them. X, x is going to have to be represent one of them. So it says the length. So let's go back into the problem and see if they're giving us any advice. It says the length will be three feet more and than twice the width. All right. So let's see what does three feet more say? Um, if I am three, let's say I'm three feet more, let's say three years older. If I'm three years older than you, what would you do to your age to get mine? Add three. You'd add three, right? So therefore, whatever the width is, I'm going to have to add three, right? Then it says the twice the width, though. So what does twice mean? If I have $10 and you have twice as much money, how much, what do you have to do to get the amount of money you have? Multiply by two. You multiply by two. So it says you need to twice the width and then add three, right? Do you know what the width is? No. But if you do all that stuff, you're going to get the what? The length. The length, right? So what I can say is, I can say, well, I don't know what the width is, but since I'm doing all this stuff to the width to get the length, let me say the width equals x, and the length is going to equal doubling it, right, twice plus three. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the semi-hard part um, because it, it takes, it's hard to determine which one to be the variable, either width or length. And then you got to use this stuff and it, it gets pretty confusing. So now the next thing you want to do is when you're working with word problems, everybody says, oh, draw a picture, draw a picture. Well, not every word problem you can draw a picture. For this problem though, it's perfect. So we want to draw a rectangle. And when dealing with a rectangle, there's a couple important properties. Well, what we know that rectangle has opposite and equal sides, right? Mm -hmm. And also a rectangle has four 90 degree angles. It's not really gonna help us out, but it's just important to always go through definitions. So it says that the width is equal to x. So what do you want to make, uh, which one is the width? Which one do you want to make the width, which side? Um, top. Top? Okay. So we we'll say the top is x. So if the top is x, what does this have to be? X. X, right? Because a rectangle has the same sides. Now remember, this is a uh, rectangle kennel. So this is like fencing or something, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So this is, encompasses the whole kennel. So if this is x and that's x, what is the other, what does the length have to be? Sides. Right. And what is that? What is the length? What is their, what is, how long are they? Oh, uh, uh, twice the length of the, uh, Right? Yeah. Well, it's twice x, yeah. which is width. So it's twice the width plus three. Mm -hmm. So my picture doesn't represent the problem very well, but if we maybe switch them around to equal, but do you, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. These two are equal and these two. So it'd be nice, it'd be easier if we had numbers, right? 
if you just said five and you know, and this would be like 18, it'd be easy. You could find the perimeter. Um, but it says, write and use an equation to find the length and the width of the kennel if Adrienne has 54 feet of fencing. So she needs to make a rectangular kennel. She only has 54 feet of fencing. So do you think 54 feet, should that just encompass one side? No. We want to encompass all four sides, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore we call that the perimeter, 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 yeah. what, is it, what is it called, do you remember? Yes. Perimeter, right? So that's the perimeter. The perimeter is the addition of all four sides. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to write an equation by saying x, this side, plus this side, plus this side, plus this side. And all those added up has to equal 54 feet. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, you can say stop. Nobody knows who you are. No, thanks. So it's kind of cool. All right, so now we have to combine like terms. Remember, you can remember the black markers and the red markers? So I can only combine my like terms. So x plus 2x is 3x, plus x is 4x, plus 2x is 6x. Um, and then, well, I don't know if it's plus or minus yet. But 3 plus 3 is 6 equals 54. Now, now does this look a lot more familiar? This is something we can all solve, right? This is a two-step equation. You always undo addition and subtraction first. So I subtract the six. Six X equals 48 divided by six. X equals eight. Now here is my- Roger Price, if you're on campus, please report to the main office. My Robert other company. Price, please report to the main office. So my biggest pet peeve is students leave their answer like this because they feel like they're done, right? But you gotta remember, this is a word problem, right? And when I say on a problem, when I say solve for x, Does the question? Right, when I say solve for x, it makes sense. x equals two, right? Yeah. Well, when I say find the length and the width, and then you say x equals eight, that makes no sense. So you gotta tell me, answer the question. So x equals eight, so therefore that is the width, right? So you say, Put my answer here. The width is eight, and what was it, feet? Yep, eight feet. And the length is, and you gotta put eight now in correct. So two times eight is 16, plus three is 19. Got it? Wasn't so bad, was it? So, 